big factor with respect to space and space exploration. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Of course, confirmation that wires were used is in the detail. Here in this Apollo 14 footage, you can see a ping, a momentary glint. And again, run slowly. And once more. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. You see your roadster up there with Starman uh, just cruising along with the Blue Planet. And how long will we be getting live views, do you think, from the car? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Um, you want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a good flight and uh, many more exciting experiments on the orbit. Thanks a lot. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. It is photoshopped, but it's it has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond. What he was telling me was different from what we were being told uh, was the truth. And at one point I asked him, I said, man, you guys, you, you lied about a lot, didn't you? And instantly he said, no, we didn't lie about certain things. We lied about everything. None of it was true.
Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. With the flat earth thing, that's something that you truly really believe. Does it matter? Yeah. For what? Well, I mean, what's so important about that? You have millions of fans. Out of, out of all the podcasts, that's what you took out of it? The flat earth? You were asked again about yeah. it. Yeah. And the fact that that could be news all over the world just shows you how. Well, again, you have lots and lots of fans. So that affects them? It may. Oh, okay. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. The future of American space leadership, we're going to lead again. It's been a long time. It's over 25 years. Today, we're taking a crucial step to secure America's future in space by reviving the National Space Council after it has been dormant almost 25 years, if you can believe it. Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. Is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. Once weighted properly, the astronauts hover in the water as if floating in the weightlessness of space. The test conductor and team speak directly to the astronauts through the communications gear in their helmets. The point of all this effort is to provide a learning environment for astronauts where they can practice tasks over and over in simulated zero gravity. What is gravity? You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can, we can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking, like, what it is, I, I, I don't know. What is gravity? You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can, we can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking, like, what it is... I, I don't know. So uh, many times during um, spacewalks outside the International Space Station, we can see air bubbles rising up. Can you touch on how there are air bubbles in space? Um, air, can you be more specific, air bubbles? So yeah, like a lot of times during the footage, the NASA footage, you can see bubbles coming up out of the helmets or kind of from underneath you. Um, how do you explain bubbles in space? Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. You might, there's, now sometimes you get water in the helmet. And it comes. It's either it's either uh, you know from sweat or from the cooling garments. And um, you know, in some of my spacewalks, I had like water in the helmet. Not like I was going to drown in the helmet, but just little bits of water probably came from uh, sweat. Often um, on the outside of the space station, you'll liberate little pieces of um, you know. There, it's a really harsh environment out there, and the outside of the space station gets beat up pretty good. And sometimes, you know, you'll see just little flecks of paint or something that you might have disrupted floating away from the suit. And, uh, you know, that's generally what that is. I've never seen any kind of air bubble anywhere. Yeah. Could, it, could it be that you're filming in an underwater pool and you're not really out there?